by my hello hello Yolande. hello fabio nice to see you how are you today i'm fine thank you and you very good wow you that's a good in that's a good uh, pronunciation and sentence thank you thank you so much <laughs> Did I say your name correct, Fabio? Yes, the correct pronunciation is that. Okay, thank you. And let me just see, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Um, <gasps> oh, I'm from my Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, I love your accent. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, I hope you, I hope you under, uh, you being understand me. No. Yes, no, I can understand you for sure. I love the Spanish accent and I love the Spanish language. I hope one day I can go to South America because I want to learn uh, Spanish as well. Please. <laughs> I want you yeah. to know someday, uh, Spanish too. Yes, also, it's, I think it's the mm. most beautiful language because you speak yeah. Portuguese, uh, hey? Yes, yes. But uh, and, and, and it's the quite language, similar. And the language around the world, the world, I prefer French. French. I, I, ah, okay. Italy, uh, I, I think is a beautiful language. French and Italian. And Italian, Italian. Yes, yes. I also love that language. We actually have a lot of Portuguese people in South Africa. In South Africa. I yeah, didn't know we that. have a. I didn't know about that. Yeah, we have a, a, a lot of Portuguese people, and most of their fish and chip shops are owned by Portuguese people. I don't know why. Is that a, like a famous meal in port in Portuguese um, culture? Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Fish and... Oh, sorry, fish and chips. Most of our fish and chip shops mm -hmm. are owned by Portuguese people. Mm, understand. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's funny. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I I am twenty five years old, and hey. uh, from one hour, from an hour, I will have a job interview. One hour. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh my wow. Goodness. Later. That's it. <laughs> okay. Tell me uh, quickly because I've got 20 minutes before my reservation starts. So I'd like to practice a few uh, questions with you. Tell me what kind of job um, is this interview about? This job is about core operation technician is a IT, uh, IT position. Okay, okay, uh, fantastic. I am training <coughs> uh, the common uh, asks, common questions. And... Uh, yes, common questions. Common questions, is, is, that's it. And uh, YouTube present me a lot of uh, uh, forms to present myself, but it's very difficult to... Okay. Make. No, uh, but, yes. but I, I need to train. I need to train. Okay, perfect. Because the first question will be to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. They will usually say, "Can the question will usually be, can you tell me about yourself?" Well. Now, I, you, you probably know that in this question, they don't want to hear about your interest or your family mm -hmm. or things like that. They want to hear who are you, what are your qualifications and why are you applying for this job? So can you practice that with me and then I can give you some feedback. Okay. Uh, <coughs> let's start with this question. Okay. Um, I, okay. I'm grow up, I'm growing, I'm growing up in Sao Paulo. I have a degree in BS tech and network computer and I have uh, seven years uh, of experience in the uh, support analyst and overall and other uh, enterprise 
Um, today I am uh, I have been studying to be a CISA admin with uh, okay on Linux platform. I love Linux platform, and I am studying to take CompTIA Linux Plus certificate. Um, Fantastic. Um, that that's it. I uh, that's it. I can't tell. That is enough. Really, that is enough. I don't. In this question, you shouldn't speak for too long. Mm -hmm. Three or four sentences is enough, and then you can stop speaking and wait because the interviewer will have more questions to ask you. So, in the beginning, when you introduce yourself. Don't say too much. What you said was enough. You told me your name. You told me where you grew up. Just remember your past tense, not grow up. So I grew up in Sao Paulo. You gave me your credentials. So you have a degree in which subject and what you love and are good in. And then you can actually stop and smile. But before that, I want you to just include a sentence where you thank them so okay. if they say can you they will say hello how are you or something like that and then they will ask you to talk about yourself but first of all always say thank you so say something like thank you very much for this opportunity or thank you for your time for interviewing me thank you for your time for interviewing me it is always very good in an interview to start by thanking the person for your time um, that it, it, it's just seen as a very polite thing to do and then you give that three or four sentences about who you are and what you study okay First now all, tell I'm... me if i mm, no no continue 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 okay so first of all, thank them before you speak. Now, if I ask you, what are your strengths? Strengths. <laughs> um, so your, in other words, your good points. Good points. Good point. Uh, I need to know. I need to speak good points. Okay, but uh, about yourself. Okay, um, I consider altruism. Altruism is a good point to be to be speaking right now because I uh, Mahatma Gandhi said one time, "Be the change when you expect uh, with other peoples." And uh, this is oh. the this is the the, the form when I, what I want to to work when in a enterprise thinking in other people what these people need that i uh, that i can help oh my goodness i love that you did that quote and you can even add something like um uh, my goal is to live my life according to that quote you know it's to say that you want to that is what you aspire to but your answer was fantastic. That was very good. But they will always ask you to list some of your good points. And then they might also ask you to list some of your bad points. And when they say skills, if they use this word, they want to know things like hardworking or um, a great organizer or perhaps management skills. So try to have two or three of your positive skills and negative skills ready. It's not nice to speak about negative, but they might ask you, and they will say, what are your weaknesses? Weaknesses. I, do, uh, you, do you want uh, that I speak about my weaknesses? That's it? Is that that's it? Um, yes, because they can sometimes ask you this. Let me just quickly um, copy and paste these. Hold one second for me. One, two, three, four, five. These six questions are the most frequently asked questions in an interview. Mm -hmm. So the first one we've done. 
what can you tell me about yourself the next one can you list your strengths and then what weaknesses do you have okay yolandi can you uh, uh repeat your your explanation um, about about my strength please uh, what, what can i what what can i how can i use this phrase uh, my goal is to live my life according to the quote i don't understand the could you speak again please uh, okay okay for of course um let's first of all talk about your strengths mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna put this in a capital so your first one is your strengths i'm going to give you a few examples and then you can choose some of those so you can say i am a brilliant organizer mm -hmm. or you can say i have excellent people skills you see what i mean by that okay i understand it. and i you am can also say i am a team player or i i'm trying to think um i do, 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 i am a problem solver try to think about the skills that you need to be good in your job mm -hmm. also simple things like friendly helpful hard working dedicated you know adjectives to explain what you are good at uh, altruism is not a good word to use no 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 it is but you but you should use more than one uh, word. Okay. okay 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 Understood. fantastic perfectly i i understood uh, everything now let's go to the weaknesses uh, yes, we have, the we have uh, you have uh, do you have uh, you have five minutes to to teach me yet five minutes i have i have 11 more minutes before my next reservation 11 okay let's go let's go yes. <laughs> weaknesses <Okay. laughs> uh, uh, no that's hard yes. question that's hard yes question. it is a very it is a very hard question and it's um, it's the type of question that you need to answer very good because you don't want to actually highlight your weaknesses. But <coughs> for example, you know, you can say things like, you know, I have never been very good at mathematics. But if mathematics is something you need in your job, don't say that. Mm -hmm. Try to focus on a weakness that they do not need you to have. For example, I will say I have never been good at public speaking. So I don't like to speak in front of 300 people. So you need to think of just one weakness that will not affect the job application. Okay. Okay, and uh, I need uh, when I speak about weaknesses, I need to explain how can I improve this the the this. Oh, how can I how can I see? Yes, you this can problem. you can yes you can offer um a, um something to make up for it, but you can also put it in a positive way. Let me mm -hmm. ask you some questions. Okay, first of all when somebody gives you a project to do will are you the kind of person that will always want to finish that project even if it takes extra time no i uh, i i prefer uh, think about the time that project will be uh, spent you know and i will okay. yes. myself to do this this project in the time i think this I, 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 so, I think so this. okay 
I understand that. So I want to show you this sentence where somebody is talking about their weakness, but they are actually making it a positive thing. So look at that one. I am discomfort or have or are uncomfortable with leaving a project unfinished. Uh, what? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read what I'm I am typing it to you? Can you mm -hmm. read it? Discomfort with leaving a project unfinished. Ah, okay. Okay. Can you see that actually it is a, it is a good point? Yes, it's a good point. Uh, 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 you asked me, is this a good point to, to do? Uh, is that it? Sorry, I, I'm confused. Um, okay, it's okay. Let me let me just let me just explain again. Okay. I am only giving you examples. Okay. Because because I don't know your job, mm -hmm. and I don't know your personality. I don't know you. I can't tell you what to say, but I can give you examples of what other people say. And then you might look at that sentence and think, ah, oh, that sentence fits me. Or it might not. I'm just trying to get you to think about things that you can say. Okay. Okay. All right. and, uh, the, the best answer to, to speak it, uh, we with this example is that phrase you you wrote for me the, the, the best I did not I didn't write it for you because I don't know you uh -huh. I don't know I just gave you an example of how you can phrase it uh -huh. um, okay. okay let me let me ask you it in a different way if I have to ask you the three most positive positive things about your personality what would you tell me don't worry about full sentences just tell me anything that come to your mind um self-learning self out uh, okay uh, self-learning a uh, good good yeah I'm positive i'm very positive and i am um, Today I can say I am confident with I can do. I am very confident. Person, with I okay. Can do. Okay, fantastic. Confident in my skills and I always have a, anything is possible attitude. Let's have a look at these three sentences. The first one you can say I'm very hard working and dedicated. I'm an extremely positive person and I'm very confident in my skills mm. and I always have a anything is possible attitude. How it's does that sound? <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, <laughs> so I think these things are now only in full sentences and I made I added some adjectives because you want to say you're extremely positive and very confident and do you know that phrase anything is possible attitude okay okay that's, yeah that says that's something really, about you very cool okay <laughs> now tell me two things about your personality that you think are not so good um sometimes i can I, I I doesn't like to wait. Sometimes I, I ah. doesn't, doesn't like to wait for other people to help me. Okay. Uh, let me see. Because of no, the, that is enough. Ah, this is enough. That is actually enough. Yeah. I'm going to say something like um da, 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 I can sometimes be a little bit impatient oops oops a little bit impatient and i don't really like handing 
over work to other people and I uh, trust myself more to complete the job. Something like this. You can say I am, I can sometimes be a little bit impatient. So I add it sometimes a little bit because you don't want to sound as if you're very impatient. I am also impatient. So I, I often say that in my own interviews. I can sometimes be a little bit impatient. And I don't really like handing over job work to other people as I trust myself more to complete the job. So this way, you are also, again, making that negative a bit positive because you're actually telling them that you, you believe in your own abilities. Yes, that's that's cool. Oh. You're you're oh. higher <laughs> than me. Oh my god! <laughs> I I actually help a lot of people to write their CVs and presentations. <clears throat> so I've done that a lot for my students. Um, so that's why I'm I'm quite used to typing things like that for people. Now mm -hmm. the next question, which is also a question that they ask a lot, they will ask you why should we hire you Whoa. why should we employ oh it's a difficult <laughs> question <laughs> this is very... so tell me tell me anything that comes to your mind anything um today i consider myself prepared prepared to be in your company because seven years with experience on the other enterprises uh transfer transformed me in a, a good a good person uh, like uh, such as my in my skills and my personalities I can uh, I can uh, yeah I am I am very productive and I consider myself uh, a mm, Good to do. Good. So, <laughs> I, I, I can hear. That's very good. I can hear what you say. I'm just typing. Let, let us see what this look. So I am at a point in my life where I feel that I am confident in my abilities. Mm -hmm. My experience has transformed me to be at a point where. Oh, I sorry. I, I repeated that confident. OK, I'm confident in my abilities and my experience has transformed me where I'm also confident in my skills and I'm ready to take the next step mm. in my career, something oh, like that. And then, and, <laughs> and, and then you can also complement their company. So say something about this company, make sure that they know that you researched the company. You know, maybe this company is really well known or has been established for 20 years so compliment their company so say something like you know i looked at your company and i can really see that you offer fantastic services or great mm -hmm. positions I you try to, to think of a for, compliment i need you looking for the the mission values the the this the, yeah this oh this company and tell uh, how can I put myself in this company? That's it? Is that it? Yes, exactly. You want to show, tell them I want to work for you. And you can even say I am very excited for this opportunity. It's the type of opportunity that I've always dreamt about. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can make it personal. I'm going to type it for you. I'm very excited about this opportunity as it is the type of position that I have always dreamed about something like this okay 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 let me just see is there another one um oh yes you can see that they can often ask you why do you want to work for us so this is where it is important to show that you know something about this company. Um, uh, that's complicated. Uh, could it what, what is the? Can you type me the name of that company? 
then maybe I can find something for you. Info bip. Okay, let's see. B I P info bip. Is that how you say yes, it? Yes, I send uh, you uh, the link. Ah. Okay, so it's an international IT and telecommunication company yeah. that operates a full state. Da, da, da. Let's see what else do they say. Hmm. Okay. So you can say something like um, from the re well. First of all, your company is an international company with um, customers from maybe customers. Let's see who, who's their customers. Ah, let's see about us. Where are the offices? About us is the end of the page. And uh, I, can, okay. I, can I uh, read about uh, uh, about there it's it's a it's a little a little test can i yes you can yes absolutely okay our mission uh since it, uh, 2006 our mission has been to create seamless mobile interactions between business and people an integral part okay. of the h2p messaging evolution infobip is committed to creation to creating solution that just work we believe it's what's on the inside that counts it's why we built our h2p sms platform from the ground up and so on and uh, i understand the, they work with uh, interaction interactions with the other companies uh, with a private message with a high level yes, security uh, messages, uh, exchange messages, uh, with uh, That's right. bio exchanging um, and so on. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, but my other student is phoning and she made a reservation, but I will recommend go and read what I typed after mm -hmm. the conversation again and even write out a few of these sentences it will help you to remember it mm -hmm. uh, okay yolandi thank you yes. very much oh i hope i helped it was such it's a short good. time <laughs> it's very useful and okay. i expect to have another lessons with you i can i can uh, okay. learn a lot of with you with this this. Oh, I hope so. Okay. And listen, if you get the job, will you please send me a message and let me know? Okay. Okay. I will. I will. I'm holding. I'm holding my thumbs. Fingers crossed for you. Thank you. Thank you very <laughs> much. Bye. Bye. bye.